Welcome back, Blade fans. <laughs> For your viewing pleasure today, we have from the Concept Knife Company, sent to me for review by Concept at no charge. So um, all caveats in place here. I did not purchase this knife. They asked me if I'd like to review it. I had reviewed a former previous model of the Corvid line designed by Coke Tools. That's K-O-C-H. Coke Tools, like Heckler and Coke. Uh, this is, bang. Thank you, Jared. The Corvid M Plus, M like Mary Plus. It is supposed to be a larger version than the normal Corvid M and some of the mini Corvids, obviously. It is a full-size knife. It's a little beast. It's only a little over a three-inch blade, but it is beefy. It's coming in like at around seven and a half ounces. <laughs> a bit of a pocket anchor, I think, for me. I have to be truthful with you, honest with you. Some of you like the cleaver-style blades. I'm not a big fan. They are interesting and unusual looking. They do look like a meat cleaver. Uh, obviously, for chopping maybe, for some light chopping and for slicing, they would work out well. They give you a big finger choil here, which diminishes even further some of the real estate on the blade. It is, however, a high flat grind. And this one is a Damascus version. So if I pull the box out here, and show you the very end. This is what we're talking about. Okay. They're saying it's a 3.07 inch blade. So I won't argue with that. And it is a Coke tools as the designer. It's an M plus Corvid. And there you have the model number in case you're interested in it. It is Damascus black stone washed titanium. Now with the weight of this thing, I was thinking it's got to be steel. And you know what it could be, it's going to be hard to tell without disassembling it, is that we've got liners. So there's steel liners with titanium uh, scales. Okay, that's my best guess. Uh, I can't really get to a spot where there isn't the steel liner underneath. So since they're saying it's titanium, I'm saying it's titanium scales with steel liners. It is a thumb stud opener. It is fairly drop shut at this point. It's got a prominent flipper tab, opens without uh, any difficulty whatsoever. It's pretty smooth. I believe it's on bearings. And there's your thumb studs. Big heavy blade for a short knife, for a three inch blade. Uh, some very knobby sort of uh, jimping, very wide space there. And it's a good position for the thumb. I mean, it feels secure in the hand. Whatever it is that you're going to cut with this little beast, I mean, you've got a nice point there, kind of like a Warncliffe, to be able to uh, do your detail cutting. And you've got, as I said, a very flat, high flat grind with a big old fuller. And kind of an interesting feature on the top there. Uh, that would accept your thumb. So whatever it is you're slicing, maybe you're, uh, you know, doing your scallopini or something that, that would work or some veggies. But um, let's get around to some measurements and then I'm going to compare it to a couple other concept knives that are Coke designed. If I go right out to the tippy tip there and down to the handle. Uh, it's close enough to eight inches that we're going to call it that. It's just a bit under eight inches, not by much. And... Um, I don't know where they're measuring the 3.07. I'm getting three and a quarter. You know, maybe they're measuring from here. That would give us kind of a 307. It uh, really depends upon where you measure the thing. But I think the overall length is going to give you the best indicator. It's eight inches of the uh, size of the knife. Going to the uh, breadth dimensions. Millimeters, 2.8, and um, while we're on the blade, let's do that in inches, 0.11. Uh, 
and uh, handle thickness only half an inch. <clears throat> Here is where we'll be taken aback just a bit. 7.45, we're going to call that, 7.45 ounces. Seven and a half ounces for those that came in late, as the Colonel Cooper used to say. Uh, and the steel is a Damascus. Um, they're not saying what steels are used, but I know they knew an, when Civivi does Damascus, they do a 9CR, um, uh, 9, 9CR MOV 18, something like that. But a 9CR steel uh, mixed with like a 5CR maybe. I'm not entirely sure. So if you know, let me know. As I say, comfortable to hold the way they've uh, sculpted the top of the blade. And so whether you're back here, you've got the jimping, or whether you're up here, you've got that swale on the blade. Um, holds pretty well, but seven and a half ounces, okay, in an eight-inch knife. Uh, that is going to be the... Uh, effect of the steel liners and let's see if they did any weight relieving yeah they did you can see the holes in there i believe so we got three big holes four holes three smaller holes on the uh liner side hopefully you can see those i'm trying to get it so you can but they are there for sure Okay, take my word for it. That is the Corvid M Plus. But if you had to go bigger, you could go to the XL, <laughs> which I had previously reviewed. This is called the parent child, uh, kind of a scrimshaw effect on a light blue G10. If we even up the pommels here, you'll see that it is about an inch or so longer with an even taller blade. Yeah, by a bit. And this guy, what do we say? 7.45 on the Corvid M. What do we have on this guy? If you look at my review, you'll see it, but I'll contrast it now. Uh, 7.85 almost. <laughs> so uh, less of a difference than I thought, given the size, probably uh, because we're dealing with G10, which is a little lighter even than titanium, um, being a uh, resin type material. But got the, the whole same contour thing going on there with a bigger cleaver. <laughs> Leave it to cleaver. Remember that old show? <laughs> okay, so the Cleaver M, here is, uh, for contrast, another Coke-designed um, knife. And I'll give you the name of that. I'm going to have to look it up. Well, sorry for the interruption. I just had to get the name for you in case you're interested. The KTC3. That's Coke Tools C for what? I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe I'm just not thinking about it, but it's uh, definitely kind of a talon uh, blade. Could be a karambit. Orange handle. I think I picked this one up uh, myself from White Mountain. Uh, but the topic today is this guy. And uh, as far as the box goes, uh, they did not uh, put it in a Velcro pouch like they usually they gave kind of a less uh, expensive cloth bag here with their name on it comes with the usual instruction set and warranty and there's a microfiber cloth in there i'm not going to bother taking it out uh let's compare it to something else here's the rat one <laughs> while the rat one is certainly longer by an inch and a quarter or so with a blade and about three quarters of an inch longer-ish. Um, look how tall this knife is. Look at that. Oh my God, especially the blade. <laughs> That's crazy. 
But if you're into that kind of thing, I think probably there's a use for it. Uh, talking to some uh, designers recently uh, about concept and you know some of their their offerings seems to be a, a big push for this Corvid series. I know the the mini ones went over well or are probably going over well for Christmas with uh, I think they did like the uh, dessert variety, you know, with the uh, the handles that look like uh, donuts and so forth, kind of like what. Um, uh, whatever that automatic company, automatic company is, uh, the German company. Boker, I think, was turning out something, if I have the right name. Maybe not. Maybe it isn't Boker. Uh, since I don't have them, I probably uh, couldn't tell you about them. But a very nice Damascus pattern, if you like the, uh, the stainless Damascus. It's sort of uh, stained or blackened, acid watched, etched maybe. Got that kind of look to it. Uh, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, even though this is not shiny. I noticed that it uh, picked up the oils from my hands on these uh, flats here, which uh, have kind of a stone-washed appearance to them. Two big fuller-type grooves here, maybe to give you a little extra grip. Um, you do have a nice uh, guard area that is uh, created from the flipper tab. And it's pretty smooth. I would say uh, with a little bit of use, it's going to be drop shut, you know. And a deep carry clip, which is not switchable for you lefties. Too bad. Well, there you have it. That is the Corvid. We want to do a sharpness test on it? You know, why not? Let's try it. Well, they did sharpen it. They did. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's a slicer. Thin behind the edge, I would say. Flat grind, by the way. Not hollow, near as I can tell. Thin and flat. Very cool. So uh, if you should find some use for this knife and uh, or you just like the style, go for it. Uh, I'll leave you the link so you know where to purchase it. And uh, the rest is up to you. Be well, take care, and uh, happy holidays 2023. We're getting in, homing in close on uh, Christmas and New Year's. Be well, take care.